Leo mtazamaji shughuli ya upasuaji wa mili moja na kumi iliyofukuliwa katika eneo la Shakahola ilianza rasmi asubuhi ya leo katika makafani ya hospitali kuu ya Malindi kaunti ya Kilifi serikali inakusanya chembe chembe za kufanyiwa uchunguzi wa msimbojeni ama ukipenda DNA kwa lugha ya Kiingereza kuzisaidia familia kuwatambua wapendwa wao shughuli ambayo inatarajiwa kuchukua kipindi cha mwezi mmoja kama anavyoripoti mwanahabari mwenzangu upande wa Radio Maisha Esther Kironga ni kwamba waziri wa masuala ya ndani ya nchi Profesa Kithure Kindiki amesema pia kuna uchunguzi wa kubaini iwapo kulikuwa na ulanguzi wa viungo vya wanadamu kufuatia maafa tata ya Shakahola kaunti ya Kilifi Huku mili moja na kumi ikiwa imefukuliwa katika msitu wa Shakahola mwanapatholojia mkuu wa serikali Johansen Odor anaongoza kikosi cha wataalamu wa serikali katika kufanya upasuaji mili yenyewe. Don't expect to take more than one week to be able to discharge um, uh, examination of all the 110 bodies. We are going to be doing the autopsies in teams and uh, once we finish we'll do the briefing kwa mujibu wa odor shughuli hii inafanywa sambamba na ile ya kukusanya chembe chembe za msimbojeni dna kutoka familia za watu waliopotezwa upendo wao ili kuzisaidia kuwatambua dna is not a process whereby you just march today and tomorrow you are going to say wala this is the, the test it's a process so it might not take a, a one day or two day it might even take one month Rais William Ruto akitarajiwa kubuni tume maalumu ya kuchunguza maafa ya halaiki msituni Shakahola. To find out who, why and how a large number of our people met their death in such a cruel and inhuman manner. Mchungaji mwenye utata wa kanisa la Good News International Paul Mackenzie ambaye yuko Korokoroni anatuhumiwa kuwashurutisha watu kufunga hadi kufariki kwa madai kwamba wangekutana na Mungu wao. Serikali aidha inachunguza iwapo kulikuwapo na ulanguzi wa viungo vya mili ya binadamu. If any of our people have their organs missing, we will tell the world. There is nothing we are hiding. That is the truth. And we we'll have to find out why those organs are missing who took them and where and therefore this is a long and protracted process of accountability i'm just praying for patience as we go step by step makenzi anasemekana kumiliki shamba lenye kari 800 la shakahola ambapo mili hiyo moja na kumi ilifukuliwa wengine wakiokolewa kindiki anasema serikali itatoa uamuzi wa vipi shamba hilo litatumika baada ya kutajwa kwa eneo la uhalifu once the process of exhumation such and rescue is complete will be announcing what governments will do with regard to making sure that place remains a memorial uh, for the country to ensure that uh, we, we we always remember that this tragedy visited us haya najiri wakati ambapo mchungaji mwingine Ezekiel Odero wa New Life Prayer Center akitarajiwa kufikishwa mahakamani kesho Jumanne ambapo mahakama itabaini iwapo atazuiliwa kwa siku 30 au la ili kupisha uchunguzi Ezekiel anatuhumiwa kuwa na uhusiano wa karibu na makenzi kuendeleza mafunzo ya itikadi kali ulagai kusaidia watu kujua na uhalifu dhiri ya binadamu Tazamaji taarifa tunazozipokea hivi sasa kwenye chumba chetu cha habari zinaarifu kwamba ile shughuli ya upasuaji kubaini sababu ya vifo vya wale walofariki kule Shakahola tayari imeanza hii leo mchana na kufikia jioni ya leo watu kumi tayari walikuwa shafanyiwa upasuaji na ripoti yao pia kuweza kutolewa na imesemekana kwamba kulingana na ripoti ambayo imetolewa ni kwamba walifariki kutokamana na njaa hawa ni watu ambao walikuwa kwa wanafunga kama ilivyodaiwa hapo awali watoto wawili pia walifanyiwa upasuaji jioni ya leo na walikuwa na kwenye vidole vyao kumefanya rangi ya samawati ishara kwamba walikuwa wamekosa e, hewa ya kutosha ya kuvuta